channel and uh, what I've been doing today. I've done tons of uh, video, uh, tons of uh, DIYs because I enjoy DIYs and I enjoy fixing things, um, replacing things and maintenance and all that. But I've never put anything on video. So this is actually my first DIY on video. Um, what are we going to do today? We're looking at a concealed system that I'm having problem with. Uh, when I flush this toilet, uh, the water keeps draining and it doesn't stop. Uh, so at times I have to isolate the water to be able to fix it. That is a big problem. Number one, you're losing tons of water every day. Number two, that means the system is not right. You have to fix it right. Um, a little history about uh, concealed toilet. Um, the system, the system is in, in the wall and uh, a lot of people run away from this type of toilet thinking whenever you have issues, whenever you have problems, you will not be able to uh, uh, carry out maintenance on it. But I tell you, this is the best toilet you can get. Maintaining this toilet, it's easier than the other toilet that is not concealed. All you just have to do is open it, everything you have to replace, everything you have to work on is right there and it doesn't take up so much space. This particular one is a, it's a Crevit, Crevit product. Um, uh, it's a Turkish product, I think. And uh, so let's get back to work and see what is happening. Uh, this is what I get. I'll just show you when I, when I flush this toilet, sorry, when I flush this toilet, once it's done flushing, the water doesn't stop. It keeps running. So there's definitely a problem there that has to be fixed because you can't just have a toilet running just like that. You are wasting so much water. Those water that trickle down, you can see it trickling down. There's a problem somewhere that has to be solved. So let's get to it. When you have this type of problem, the first thing to do is, uh, once you've been able to detect what the problem is, then uh, you want to do research, look at the manual, and understand uh, the system inside, or probably check a couple of videos on YouTube. Like this one, I'll be, this one that I'll be posting on YouTube. First, you have to open this. So, I just so I'm trying it right here. I am. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. You push it up, and it comes up. Let's cover the toilet so that we don't get things inside. Um, this has been taken up. Then you have two screws holding the first of all. Uh, this, this, this two knobs here. If your system has it, uh, you want to pop it open. And uh, what I normally do is I use a little bit of force. To, sorry, uh, I forgot to tell you, for tools, you probably you need basic tools. Um, I'm using. Other than screwdrivers, I don't think you will need that much. So let's get to it. You pop this open here. Yeah, once this comes up, then you go to the, the next thing, which is uh, so this is now free. Uh, the next thing is to, you have two screws holding this down, you unscrew, if you have a power, that's the screw, you have to push this a little bit to take it out, uh, yes, that, uh, I'll come to this later, I use it to get a perfect uh, alignment, because I couldn't get a very good uh, plumb on it when I was fixing it, so I used that. Then, the next item to get into the insert, I've taken off these, taking off the screws, 
curiously on this so you can set them that way um, the next item is you can see this is just a plastic cover and uh, it's got two clips under uh, by taking it off oh sorry the two clips are up here you you can press it down to unclip this That's it, we're inside and uh, the next, this flush, this is for the big flush and this one is for the short flush uh, where you don't want it to flush too much of water. This one, uh, uh, the space is uh, quite a bigger, a bigger gallon of water than this one. So all we have to do is Take off the system so that we can get to forgot to tell you earlier on um, uh, you probably before you start doing this you have to isolate uh, water into the system so you don't have a uh, so you don't waste water while you're working or water keeps coming in while you're working uh, good enough for me uh, the isolation point is just here so I'm just gonna turn it off so I've cut up water into this I can flush the water into the system now. So I will let all the water drain out. Now yeah, you can have those screws. thing you want to do is let me come a little bit closer so we can actually see what we are doing Uh, let me just show you something. Um, this is what I'm planning to replace there. Uh, that is hooked up onto this and this, so you just want to gently take them out so you can have this mechanism set somewhere else so you can have access to interior. Assess this and set this somewhere. Then uh, there is something you need to see. Uh, let me check if you can see that. I uh, might have to take the camera there. Okay. Sorry. There's this item here. This key holds the system in place. This. 
Post the system key this system down. That's why the system cannot go beyond this. So we gently have to remove this. Once you can take this off, it, it, it has a clip. Uh, press the clip down gently and you take this out. See? This is what you take out. When you, when you take out this, you'll be able to bring out. Once you take out that, you can gently bring this out. You have to be careful when you're bringing it out just in case you don't have a replacement and if all you just want to do is uh if all you want to do is carry out a repair on this let me set this camera down so i just set the camera down here and continue with what i'm doing Thanks.